Hello everyone and welcome to the How to Create a Strong Brand for Your Career mini course Lesson 2. My name is Solange Lopes. I am the founder and editor of The Corporate Sister, a website dedicated to help women like myself and like you create our best lives and careers. You can find me at www.thecorporatesister.com as well as on social media at The Corporate Sister on my various social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. So in lesson one, we talked about what your brand is, um, how to define your brand, why it matters to your career. Uh, and we also went through a series of questions to help us understand our career brand better and refine our career brand purpose and mission. In this lesson, we will go through a fun exercise aimed at creating our career brand maps. So what we'll do in this lesson is that we'll create a visual brand map for your career. You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. And sometimes you really need to come down to visual representations of the nitty gritty things that are in your mind to really understand them better, put them in a better context and refine the, the concepts that are embedded in them much better. This is so you can have a better, more refined visual picture of what your career brand is and refine your own mission. So this is a draft of a general career branding map and this is something that you can do uh, with a simple pen and paper and, and jotting down your notes or you can use a tool that I happen to love which is called MindMeister. It's spelled M-I-N-D-M-E-I-S-T-E-R.com. So MindMeister.com, it's a great tool for uh, building mind maps of any kind really. So basically turning your ideas and concepts and plans into maps that helps you deconstruct complex ideas or, or complex projects into simple individualized pieces so you can get through it much better. Um, I use it for my blog post, I use it for my ebook, so you can really use it for pretty much anything, whether it's, you know, the result of a brainstorming session, for a book, for an article, uh, you know, to create pretty much anything. So check it out at mindmeister.com, and in this case, I've used it to create a basic career branding map. Uh, so it is a basic visual representation of what all of the different tenets of your your career branding map would be. Of course, you can change this, refine it, add other elements to it as you see fit, but the main elements of what should be on your career branding map are here. And as you can see, some of these themes repeat the questions that we've been through uh, in lesson one to help you understand your brand career purpose and mission. So within your career branding map, the elements that you want to brainstorm and, and think about and, and have mapped out are, first of all, your strength. What are your strengths? The reason why I bring up your strength, first of all, is because your ideal career, your ideal type of work should have as mission to leverage your strength. You want to bring in your major strength in your ideal career or in your ideal type of work because that is what will make you stand out and make you differentiate yourself, but also that is what will make you feel the greatest satisfaction and fulfillment in your work. So what are your strengths? Um, are you a great writer? My strength is to write and to deconstruct complex concepts into words. Uh, but what are your special strengths? What are your superpowers? Are you a great listener? Are you an innovator? Um, are you great at helping people? Do you have amazing social skills? Do you have amazing presentation skills? What are your strengths? Think about it and try to put your strength down on paper or on computer, however you see fit. So first element of your career branding map is your strength. Second element, passions and interests. What are your passions and interests? What are the things and the activities that tickle your fancy? For me, it's writing, um, it's reading, it's sharing ideas. Those are things that really interest me and keep me going, get me up in the morning and get me excited about my day. What are those things for you? Is it networking? Um, is it working on 
on science project, everybody has very different passions and interests. And those are very important in your general career branding because those are the very things that when combined with your ideal career or your ideal work, make you really produce the best result in addition to keeping you motivated uh, and keeping you energized and engaged in your work. So what are your specific passions and interests? How do you help people? And you can answer this question by asking people around you or by looking at the things that you do most often for people. How do you help them? I've noticed after a few years that you know people come to me for anything written, um, for anything that has to do with um, with reading or or, or literature or media, uh, and that has helped reinforce my own uh, career branding map. So how do you help? help people? Do you provide services that are more in line with tech services? Um, I have a friend who's very good with computers. So anyone in the neighborhood or in our circle of friends who has computer problems, go straight to him. So how do you help people? In what area do you help people the most? This comes in handy because you're paid to help people and to solve problems. This was one of the questions that we went over yesterday in lesson one. How do you help people? How do you solve problems? And the the better you're able to solve problems and to help people, the more you're paid for it and the more joy and satisfaction and fulfillment you get in your work. Who do you love to work with? What types of personalities do you mesh with better? Um, People that you work with, your coworkers, your colleagues, your bosses, your clients, your stakeholders are an important part of your work. I mean, those are people that you will be working with all of the time, pretty much. Uh, whether you are an individual contributor, whether you uh, even work remotely, you have to interact with people. So in a lot of time, it comes down to being associated with the types of personalities that mesh with yours. You know what they say, people don't really leave jobs, they leave people, and more specifically, Specifically, they leave managers. So in order for you to really be able to leverage the satisfaction and the fulfillment and the productivity in your work and career, you must be able to work with people whose personalities mesh with you so as to not only enjoy your work, but be able to be as productive as possible. So who do you love to work with? Um, are you more in sync with people who are more on the introverted spectrum of things? Are you more of a social person who uh, engages more more with extroverted personalities. Who do you love to work with? Um, is there a certain segment of the population that you're most, you're most comfortable working with? This comes in very handy when you're running a business and you're trying to identify your ideal clients. In your career, it comes in very handy when you're trying to uh, understand or find the types of teams that you fit in the most. So who, what type of personalities, what type of demographics do you work with better? The next question is, what is your why? What is your motivation to do what it is that you're doing? Is it to make more money? Is it to increase your wealth? Is it to build relationships? Is it to build your network or a combination of all those factors and, and very many different factors? What is your why? What makes you get up in the morning? This is crucial because it, it's really the foundation of your ideal career or your ideal type of work in addition to really being the reason why you can get more motivated, more energized, more satisfied, more fulfilled uh, by your work, and of course, produce better results. Next question uh, or next element of this career branding map is your unique value proposition. It may sound like a complex concept, but it really isn't. Your unique value proposition is a combination of things that really make you stand out. And it can be a combination of your strength, your passions, your interests, your life experience, the things that, have, that you have been through, what makes you stand out and different from others? For me, I am an, I am an immigrant with a very different, very global type of perspective, and I can bring that to my work, to any type of work that I, um, that I do. I can bring this global perspective. I have you know, experience through, um, through my upbringing in Africa, through my traveling the world, through my networking with very different cultures, through my uh, interests in media, and 
things happening in the world, this gives me a very global, very open type of perspective that I can bring to my work. What is your unique perspective? What do you bring to your work, to your career that has to do with who you are, your life experiences, the type of strength that you have, the type of interests um, that you have and the types of areas that you want to work on? So what is your unique value proposition? This may take you a little more to work on just because it is a combination of different things, but it's not as complex as it is sound. It just requires you to really dig deep into who you are, where you come from, what you bring to the table, and kind of build a, li a, a little combo of all of these things um, that really make you stand out and, and differentiate yourself. Last but not least, what are your weaknesses? Actually, this is not the last element. But what are your weaknesses? You don't want to put the focus on your weaknesses, but you definitely want to identify those areas that you need to work on more. Uh, because your ideal career, your ideal type of work, or even your career right now um, can use some areas for you to work on. You'll notice in your performance reviews, uh, in your assessments of, of your own performance and others' assessments of your own performance, that there is always a question or a section that has to do with, with areas of improvement improvement, um, or as I call them here, weaknesses, areas of improvement, sounds much better. But once you can identify those areas of improvement, you can draw for yourself goals to work on. And the better you are at improving those areas you're not very good at, the more leverage you have. So identifying your weaknesses is not just a matter of saying, I'm not good at this. It's a matter of saying, well, I can improve in this area and I can bring more to the table of my ideal career or work. So what are your weaknesses. For me, it's definitely in the tech area much work to be done but I keep learning so much and I keep improving so much that you know every single day I can see that I'm getting a little better and a little better at it and I have a little more to bring to my clients and to my work in general what are your values and beliefs are they more family centered gendered centered what is it that you believe in that really affects your career and your work so these are the general elements of your career branding map that I invite you to consider and start thinking thinking about, uh, even in your present career, to help you really understand where you stand in your present career in terms of your career branding and where you want to go in terms of your ideal career and work. Now it's your turn. Your career branding challenge after this lesson is to create your own career branding map, whether it's on a simple piece of paper uh, with a pen or a pencil, or whether you go to mindmeister.com. And I am not recommending, this is not an affiliate link. This is not a sales-oriented um, thing. It's just an, an, uh, an app, a tool that I really like to use and that I highly recommend. So create your own career branding map and try to cover all of these elements that I have covered. With with you. Uh, you can add some more if you'd like, but those are really the main essential elements that you can cover. You can do this whether you have a traditional career or whether you own your own business or you have a combo of both. It can be useful in both cases. And what do you come up with? Let me know. Email me at corporate at the corporate sister .com and let me know what you what you come up with and what really strikes you out of the whole process. Thank you for watching Lesson 2. I look forward to seeing your own career branding map and see you on Lesson 3.